Hi guys, alright, so, um, yes, I'm posting this on my regular Facebook, well, not my Facebook, my regular, um, uh, YouTube channel as well, but this is, um, it was Kelly that had suggested, you know, that we've never really done an introduction videos or anything like that to kind of introduce ourselves to everybody. Um, sorry I sound a little winded, I just ran up the stairs <laughs> and I'm pregnant, so this is for the, um, Pianistic Anonymous, um, I don't really, um, for anybody that hasn't, I'll, um, pianistic basically means you, you constantly are, you know, you find yourself very often pianistic, well, taking a pregnancy test or an OPK because, you know, I uh, you know, want to know where you are. So, um, so yeah. So I am Janet. Um, I have been, let's see, for this baby, we have been TTCing for it since, um, in November of 2012. Um, we did suffer two miscarriages. Um, which then, because of having two miscarriages and having two DNCs, um, I found myself definitely uh, peeing on <laughs> things quite often because we wanted to check to see for my levels to go back down to zero. So I have done the waiting to see no line to, uh, to the, is there a line? Oh my gosh, I think there's a line. Um, so um, I am 20, yep, 27 years old. I had to think. That's really bad. But I am 27 years old. Um, my husband and I, we've been together, well, we've known each other 14 years. Um, and we've been together on this coming May, actually in a couple months, will be 10 years that we've been together. Um, we've been married for seven years. We got married August 12th, 2006. Um, very special wedding to to me, it was um, actually my great grandparents' wedding anniversary, so that's why it was very special to me. Um, yes, this is. You guys don't see my ring that often because I don't, because of my uh, line of work, I don't wear my ring, and obviously, there's a good reason. <laughs> I don't want to lose that diamond. Yes, it's real. <laughs> um, it was my uh, husband's grandmother's ring, so that's why. And I have chocolate on my finger. So, um, we have two beautiful children. Uh, my son, who is, well, we call him Mikey, because uh, he's Michael Jr. I do not like the name Michael, but my husband wanted a junior, so I said, okay. My brother's a junior and wanted a third, and his girlfriend said absolutely not, so I couldn't really tell my husband no. Um, he'll be four, uh, actually, next month. Uh, and then we have Tiny. Um, I will not share her real name because her name is very unique um and when i say very unique um she's been to a lot of different doctors and things like that and we always get that oh my gosh i've never heard that name which is funny because my new the place where i work now um one of the assistant director that actually i don't mind him his mother has the same name as my daughter so it was kind of one of those funny things of oh wow that's kind of uh, but he said too. Yeah, it's a very old name. It's a, it was a royal name in um, Italy, which I am part um, Italian. Um, yeah, we a little bit more about our, you know, you know, the kid part of it because that's really why we pee on these things. Uh, we we always said two, I always said I only wanted two, um, and then my daughter was actually a twin. We lost the twin very early on, which was hard, but you had to be positive at the same time. It was really a hard time for me. And then I kind of, I don't want to say I got over it, but I was able to move forward with it with the pregnancy and everything like that, and everything was, you know, we had some, you know, had some problems during the pregnancy, just really her gaining um, enough weight, but then she was born at a really good weight, and then um, it was discovered 
when she was four months old and she had pneumonia almost actually. Um, the 31st will be uh, two years since that diagnosis of pneumonia and at that appointment she was only eight pounds. No, she was nine pounds, that's right. She was nine pounds at, let's see, November to December, January, February, March, four months old and she was nine pounds. Um, so we switched to a different doctor that was closer to us and uh, he started, we started checking her weight. While we were watching her weight, she actually lost a pound and it was, um, I'll actually link my other channel and I will link the video where I talk about, you know, about Tiny because she does have, uh, and she still has the diagnosis of failure to thrive. She is 20 pounds and she is almost two and a half. Um, but she's also very small, so, but she doesn't look like it in her way. She's a little mighty little thing. But, um, yeah, so after, you know, we were pregnant, after we had her, I kept going, you know, it'd be nice to, you know, to have a third. And I talked to my brother and he said, yeah, he's like, I kind of wish mom had another baby after after me, which she couldn't, uh, when I was three years old, I um, actually went to go see The Little Mermaid, which obviously is my favorite movie in the whole wide world, um, which is supposed to be coming back out in theaters on 3D uh, in September of this year, so now I don't need to have an excuse to uh, miss work to go see a movie because I'll be on maternity leave, so. Um, my mom had a hysterectomy, so that was it. I was the last one, and she had a complete hysterectomy. Um, so my brother talked, and he said, you know, it would have been neat to have, like, another brother. Or I said, well, it would be neat to have a sister. So then I talked to my husband, because he does come from three. There's three boys. And he kind of went, okay. So we started um, trying. Got pregnant. Had a, um, a blighted ovum. Um, tried again, had, um, another miscarriage in April, um, but it was one of those, my levels never got high enough for the, the doctor's office to count it, but it, obviously there was, um, what we believe was, uh, three sacks, um, well, there was two sacks, it looked like it was divided, um, the doctor still doesn't know what the heck that was, doesn't even know what caused any of that, um, Then we also, then we had a chemical pregnancy, and then we had um, our miscarriage uh, in um, August, which actually Monday would have been my due date. So it's a little, a little interesting, almost being to my due date. Um, but anyways, uh, <laughs> so yes, we've had uh, two confirmed miscarriages and then we had um, two confirmed chemical pregnancies and when I say confirmed preg it con confirmed chemical pregnancies meaning they got a level over 25 and then the one April of course went higher but never high enough for them to count it as a viable pregnancy for my hospital um, And then, yeah, so that's all, that's all that hubbub about my, um, the history with all of my miscarriages. And because of all that, I still find myself, um, I took this test, um, I think last week. I still find myself even, I will be 18 weeks pregnant tomorrow, I still take tests and what's funny is that as you guys can tell the test line and the control line same and I've seen people that are like mine and they only have the test line so which is fine and I keep looking at this one going that's like off-centered but they were um, given to me by a friend um, she works at like a, a Planned Parenthood type it's not Planned Parenthood, but they um, uh, first response sends them free tests, 
and when they get ready to be expired, they have to just throw them out because they are donated to them by first response, so they can't, like, sell them. So she kind of went, well, can I give them to a friend? Because this is when we were, this was probably September? Yeah, it was September. September, actually, October. September, October. And, she, you know, she gave me a whole bunch. I had about 25 of them, so... I only have three left, um, but they're about to expire. Actually, I think I want to say it's next month that they expire. So I probably will use the last two, and then um, I already found somebody that um, as soon as Haley actually sent you the um, the text with what I have left in my stash, I just gotta actually go under my bed and grab it. It's so simple. Um, so yeah. So yes, I am Janet, and I am still a pianistic addict. Um, so I will talk to you guys uh, later, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, because this is also going to be posted on the, their um, Facebook page, go ahead and subscribe, and follow us on our journey of finally having number three. So I'll talk to you guys later.